Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. How are you friends? Hope everyone is fine. Welcome to Little Wings channel. Okay, this is your channel. Thanks a lot for your continued support. Okay, we crossed the milestone of uh, 4000 watch hours and uh, 1000 subscribers. First, uh, we thank Almighty and we thank our subscribers and uh, supporters for your continuous support and faith in our channel. Okay. So friends, uh, celebrating Eid al-Adha, okay, the Eid of Sacrifice. So let's uh, explore some of the words, some of the glossary related to this. Okay, so let's go to video. Please subscribe to our channel if you have not subscribed yet and share and like it. Okay, thank you once again. And please follow us on Instagram also where you get to know every day uh, or every alter days i upload okay small videos related to word of the day or proverbs okay uh, hajj is one of the five pillars fifth pillars of islam okay uh, hajj is obligatory pilgrimage to makkah okay the muslims who are able to make must do it it's not compulsory on every muslim those who are poor they are not supposed to go those who are having uh, enough wealth to accommodate themselves to the traveling and journey they are supposed to for them it is obligatory next thing is similar to this was is umrah umrah is the pilgrimage okay that can be performed at any time of the year but hajj has hajj should be performed in a special month of the year okay so what are the words related to hajj first of all is uh, ihram is there you know ihram the pilgrim has to wear two pieces of unstitched clothes okay so, uh, but uh, it should not be stitched. He has to wear that before uh, go, uh, before going for Hajj. Okay, he has to do intention. Then he has to wear the ihram. Okay. Then he, talbiya is the important word. What is talbiya? You would have heard everywhere. Okay, whether it is uh, when you see Saudi TV or Saudi channel, YouTube channel, whatever it is, you would have heard this. Labbaik Allahumma labbaik, labbaik la sharika la labbaik. Inna alhamda wa niamata laka wal mulk la sharika lak. So this you would have heard in the Saudi channel and all if you browse through that. So this is called talbiya. Talbiya is the special uh, phrase which is said when the people, those who go for hajj, they say this phrase. Okay. So talabai, Allahumma alabai, which means, oh Allah, we, are, we are, have responded to your call for hajj. Okay. This is the meaning actually in the short form I am telling you. Next word which is related to the Hajj is Kaaba. Kaaba as you know the house of Allah, a black cube like structure located in Makkah in Saudi Arabia. Okay, this is called Kaaba. Okay, it is to, uh, it is uh, this sacred site that Muslims make pilgrimage. They have to go there and make a uh, circulation around that. Next thing is where Muslims go, where is Kaaba? It is in Masjid al-Haram. What is Masjid al-Haram? The mosque the houses the Kaaba okay okay next uh, you would have seen Muslims uh, doing circulations around the Kaaba what is that word called in Arabic it is called Tawaf okay they have to do seven times okay there is seven times they have to okay it is a custom it is a tradition the Muslim uh, the action of circumambulation the Kaaba a total of seven times Muslim has to go this so this is called Tawaf Next word is related to uh, Hajj is or Umrah is Maqam Ibrahim. What is this? You would have seen near the Kaaba. I'll I'll do as you can see in the picture. This yellow, this uh, golden color. Please, what is this? Actually, a spot near the Kaaba marked by a small glass structure containing the footprints of the Prophet Ibrahim. Those who go to the Hajj or Umrah, they will see that. There is Muslims have to go. You would have heard very famous name Zamzam. Yes, of course. What is Zamzam? Special holy water abundantly available in Makkah. Okay. Actually, it is the water that began flowing when the wife of Ibrahim, Hajar Ali Salam, and their son Ismail were left in the barren land of the Makkah. Okay, when God made the water of Zamzam flow, it, it gushed forth so that Hajar can has to say stop stop you know what is the meaning of zamzam zamzam means when she was stopping the water okay she was building the wall around the water to stop she was telling this word zam 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 means 
stop stop so she was telling like that. and thousands millions of liters of serve around the world okay every year okay so this is uh, zamzam next is sai word is there what is sai sai is the walking running between the two mountains called one is safa one is marwa okay that time hajar ran for searching for the water seven times now they have made green mark green lights are there to so mark that they, here you have to run so run between this safa and marwa okay this is the same act that hajar performed centuries ago okay uh, next thing is after all this acts are done pilgrims are going to the place called mina what is mina the location where pilgrims of hajj stay from 8th of zulhijjah after the dawn prayer until after the dawn prayer on the 9th of zulhijjah what they do there the four prayers remaining on the 8th and then the morning prayer on the 9th what they perform there okay imagine hundreds and hundreds of white tents housing millions of pilgrims there okay this all things is there one major park in hajj is called arafat what is arafat after arafat is a big ground okay mount arafat is located where it is actually a mount okay where the uh, pilgrims have to go okay when the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam delivered his famous final sermon after coming back from arafat they have to go to call a place called muzdalifa this is also near by makkah only after the sunset they have to head to muzdalifa this location okay and they have to stay there one night praying okay three banisha prayer combined they have to pray there okay and then and collect stones why so pebbles or stones they have to collect and to throw at jamarat so what is jamarat next step is jamarat Jamarat there are three uh, pillars representing the three times the devil tried to sway prophet Ibrahim in his decision to obey God's command so each time Ibrahim did not fail falter so today pilgrims approach these pillars known as Jamarat Jamarat uh, this one has and all for them very special it is called Eid al Adha what is Eid al Adha Eid means festival and Adha means sacrifice Eid al Adha means the festival of sacrifice. Okay, why this is done? Because uh, Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam was given the task. He was tested to sacrifice his son, so he was ready to sacrifice his son. But Allah stopped him and said, "We were just want uh, thing to test you. You are successful in your test. Okay, now we are replacing a sheep. Okay." in play a ram in place of your son so the ram from the heaven was sacrificed slaughtered from that day to mark to mark that sacrifice this day is being celebrated among the muslim okay where there is uh, everyone uh, please i urge all the uh, our brothers not to create any problems during this special thing to avoid the disruption of the our fellow country okay friend do country men okay to to not to hurt their feelings also to keep the city clean to keep the streets clean okay after uh, the and the throw the wastage of the whatever sacrifice you you have done into the garbage friends so please keep it in this in mind hope you like the video and please subscribe if you have anything please don't forget to comment in our chat okay thank you and have a nice day